Okay guys, in this quick video lesson, we're gonna talk about the next step in this process of electricity, which is dealing with electric current, okay? Uh, we've done electrostatics, and now we wanna dive into, once we have extra electrons, or we have a charged substance, how do we get that current then to flow, or how do we get that those electrons to flow through and be useful for us in terms of power, okay? So, first thing we need to do is what is a circuit, okay? We'll be using the term circuit a lot in the next two or three weeks, so we need to have a good handle on that. Now, a circuit is any time we have a continuous loop of electrons that allows current to flow, okay? Um, typical circuits, you have maybe a battery that provides the extra electrons, and you can actually have the electrons move from the negative side through a wire of some sort or a conductor of some sort that allows a complete connection. You need to have a connection from the negative side to the positive side of whatever supplying, whatever the source is of your electrons. Okay, in this case, our source is a battery. Okay, so things we need. Uh, first of all, the movement we call is current. Okay, so we talk about the current of something, we're talking about the movement of electrons. We need a source for these electrons. We need a conductor, which is the wire. Okay, and then we do need a load. Okay, so for this to be a useful circuit for us, we need to do something with these electrons. We can't just hook a battery up to a wire and let it sit there. The only thing that's going to happen is the battery is going to drain itself to nothing. So someplace in this circuit, we need to add one more piece of the puzzle or something that's going to cause it to actually use the electrons to power some sort of device. That device is called our load. Okay. Um, Here's another example of a circuit. Now it's just drawn out for you. So instead of seeing a picture of a battery, we now see these weird lines. The long, short, long, short lines indicates battery for us. We have a positive side and a negative side. Okay. Now this battery here, if we assume it's a six volt battery, okay, we have like AAA batteries. We have nine volt batteries. Uh, triple and AA batteries are like 1.5 volts. So they all have a different voltage, which is called their potential. Okay. So the voltage that something has, we refer to as their potential. It's no different than the potential we've been talking about before, where this is the potential energy that is available to create work, okay? So really, we're still applying the same terminology as we've used earlier in the year, where we use energy to do work on an object. Now we're gonna use energy from electrons to do work on an object. The difference is the work is gonna be electrical work, it's not gonna be physical work. So we're not gonna use you know, Newtons to push um, a block, we're going to use electrons to light up a light bulb, okay? But it's the same concept between the two things, all right? So we have this potential. We need a load. So this little symbol over here is actually of a light bulb, okay? Um, whatever this is, it creates, this is the device or whatever we need to actually power, okay? So this battery is going to power up this particular device and make it light up. Or if this was the speaker on your cell phone, make music play. Or if this was the screen, make your screen light up. Or if this was your camera, it would turn your camera on. So it's anything that uses the power from the electrons is our load, okay? If we close the switch, we see that the power comes on and the electrons move around the circuit, okay? Now, our animation doesn't have these moving perfectly in unison, but really that movement would be pretty continuous and would be pretty much a straight flow of electrons, okay? That flow that we get around those electrons is, car is called our current, okay? So anytime we talk about flow of electrons, we're really talking about the current inside that circuit, all right? Now, here's a quick little visualization of this process, okay? So we have a battery, and a battery or a pump, or this is where you plug it into an outlet, or something that creates these, powers up your electrons, okay? Somewhere to get, you can give, give your electrons power, okay? So in this case, we're symbolizing a circuit by using height. So think of this as the high side is where the electrons have lots of energy, and then they get used up by the spinning wheel, and they have low energy when they come back to the battery, okay? As long as the battery can supply and recharge them and send them back on their way, it'll keep running, okay, until the battery goes dead. So what happens is, is they leave the battery with high potential, just like we have potential energy in terms of gravitational potential energy. It's electric potential energy, but it's still potential energy. So they have potential to use their energy. They start to fall down this ramp, and they get kind of caught in this wheel. This wheel only spins because of their releasing that potential energy. So as they release their potential energy, they spin this wheel. Now this spinning of the wheel slows them down a little bit, 
and provides resistance, okay? This could be your light bulb, or this could be your speaker, or this could be the doorbell ringing, or whatever it is that creates power. This could be the blender running in your kitchen, okay? Um, so they expend their energy here to power this device so that afterwards they have no potential energy. They still exist. They're not gone. They still, have a, still are here, and then they flow back to the battery or their source um, to complete the circuit, okay? That's your basic circuit. That's your basic idea behind what a circuit is. Now, in the upcoming days, we're going to talk more detail on how we actually can calculate this movement, the power, the energy, the joules, the watts, the amperages, and all those kind of things. Okay, And that's going to get us into our next slide, which is on electric potential, which we will start uh, next time. Thank you.